Hey guys, this is Jam of JamOnline.ph and welcome back to my channel and today magkakameron tayo ng gaming review ng latest smartphone ni Realme, the Realme 6 Pro. I know this is quite interesting smartphone. It's the latest one. It packs a 90Hz refresh rate. Meron tayong Snapdragon 720G processor which is one of the newest processors sa mid-range level. Of course, ang smartphone natin na ginagamit ngayon is the high-end na Realme 6 Pro. We got here an 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. So of course, it's not just about the processor. There's the 90Hz display refresh rate dito sa ating uh, Realme 6 Pro. It packs a 6.6 inch display. We do got here a punch hole cutout for the dual selfie camera. So yes, it takes uh, a little bit off of the screen dito sa unahan. But yeah, it's not that annoying for me. I mean, I, I am using a lot of smartphones with a punch uh, hole cutout, the selfie camera sa unahan. So of course, this smartphone comes with a 4,300 mAh of battery and 30 watts fast charging. Now you already know what's inside the, the Realme 6 Pro. You already know the perform. Uh, you already know the processor, the chipset, and everything. Now let's check out the performance of the Realme 6 Pro. So you already know the basics about the Realme 6 Pro. Now, uh, bago natin i uh, gaming test. Gusto ko lang i-discuss sa inyo na we're running the smartphone at 90 hertz refresh rate. So as you can see in the settings, display. So uh, it's running at 90 hertz uh, screen refresh rate. However, uh, may mga napanood ako na reviews before ng games uh, ng Realme 6 Pro. And according to them, it's not running on 90 FPS on most of the time, on most uh, games. Pero uh, despite that, try ko na kasi to nung nag-games ako. Nakita ko pa rin yung difference na kahit na 60 FPS pa lang siya with the 90 hertz refresh fresh rate. Nakita ko pa rin yung advantage niya. Maybe it's because of the response time, yung kanyang uh, touch sampling. Uh, mas maganda yung response ng touch dito sa Realme 6 Pro. So, uh, dito muna tayo sa first game natin, which is Call of Duty. It's one of the most popular games out there in the market. You all know that probably. So, uh, just give me a few seconds and natayin natin mag-load si Call of Duty Mobile. So, nandito tayo ngayon sa settings now. Let's go dito sa graphics and audio. And as you can see here, uh, we set it up up to high graphics settings with the maximum frame rate because whenever I choose very high, we cannot uh, max it out up to the max frame rate. So, yes, dito na lang tayo sa high graphics with max frame rate. We've also turned on depth of field, real-time shadows, ragdoll, and anti-aliasing. So, basically, it's uh, the best possible na mataas yung frame rate natin dito. Uh, with the best graphics uh, Realme 6 Pro. Now, time to uh, play a multiplayer dito sa Call of Duty Mobile. So, yan. So far, it's running at 60 frames per second. Uh, yes, yeah, steady lang naman siya. So, the 720G processor is quite powerful. So, tingnan natin once we uh, encounter some enemies. I suck at this game. But, yeah, it's a steady 60 frames per second as expected. I mean, most smartphones are actually optimized uh, sa Call of Duty Mobile. So, despite uh, using kahit ano MediaTek or some low-end uh, Snapdragon, most of the time, it can, run PUBG, uh, it can run Call of Duty Mobile without any problems. Okay, so, uh, so far, we're doing pretty well. And uh, we're losing the game. As you can see, I just died. <laughs> but yeah, you can see here that the frames is actually steady at 60 frames per second. This is a good sign. Uh, meron konti frame drops yan. Nakita nyo, bumaba siya to 55. But it's not that much. Uh, it's not uh, destroying yung experience ko dito sa game. And uh, everything is pretty well. But yeah, you can see here that it's running at 60 frames per second. No problems at all. So whenever uh, you're planning uh, on playing Call of Duty Mobile on uh, the Realme 6 Pro, won't have any problems with that one. So, proceed na tayo sa susunod na game natin. Our next game is PUBG Mobile. One of the most demanding games right now uh, in the market sa smartphones. And as you can see here, uh, we're running PUBG Mobile na and you can see it's a graphics. Uh, we could run it up to um, HD settings lang. So, whenever we're choosing HDR, the option will be available on your device soon. Unfortunately, the game isn't optimized yet yata sa Snapdragon 720G. So, I suggest that you uh, push it lang sa balance and then ultra frame rates. Of course, magdagdag tayo na anti-aliasing and of course, disable natin shadow just to get yung parang optimized natin na gameplay dito. Most of the time, I do not, I do not use shadows whatever smartphone that I'm using kasi nga malaki yung kinakain niya sa resource. So this time we're running it at balance with ultra settings. And yes, I know a lot of people will tell me that um, you could 
run PUBG Mobile with GFX tool. Unfortunately, hindi ko siya gagamitin right now because it's not official. I do not um, condone using that one kasi hindi ko alam, hindi ko alam kung nasa gray area siya or if illegal siya. So, right now, we're gonna run um, Evo Ground dito sa PUBG Mobile and let's see how this one will perform sa game bench. So, the game is running at 40 frames per second. It's quite smooth. Uh, so far, na natin mamaya. So, right now, it's running at 39 frames. So, as you can see here, uh, the game is running at 40 frames per second. It, this is quite smooth lang na 40 frames per second. So, yeah, walang problema naman so far. Once na sanay ka na sa extreme settings, uh, medyo maninibago ka. But of course, sa mga gusto talaga ng best uh, FPS dito sa game, you can use GFX tool. But again, hindi ko lang siya gagamitin this time. But yeah, you can see here that uh, the game can run uh, at a s steady, almost. It's almost steady na frame rate. You can see here that the, the FPS is almost straight line lang. Walang problema. Fortunately, uh, wala tayo extreme frame rates dito. Uh, despite using 720G. But again, yun nga, pangatlong beses ko na ito sabihin ng pangapat, there's a way. GFX tool sa mga gusto talaga na mataas sa frame rates dito sa PUBG. Okay, so ilang beses na tayo namamatay. But the frame rates are still good dito sa PUBG Mobile. So yeah, this is a good thing. I love it. Okay, we died again. But yeah, you can see here that uh, the frames are quite smooth. It's 40 median frames per second at balance settings with anti-aliasing. The CPU load is around 14.5% lang. And yeah, it's not uh, problematic pagdating dito sa Realme 6 Pro. But the problem is that uh, the settings is limited lang at balance settings with ultra frame rates. There's no way uh, that you can play the game at extreme frame rates unless you use GFX tool. So yeah, let's proceed to our next game. So a lot of people are asking me about the 90 hertz display refresh rate of uh, the Realme 6 Pro if it can run games at 90 FPS. Now, ito try natin. I believe hindi niya kaya lahat uh, paganahin pa si 90 FPS. I believe a lot of game developers should optimize the game for the Realme 6 Pro. But as you can see here, I, our screen refresh rate is running at 90 hertz. Yeah, 9 hertz. So, uh, the game that we will try naman this time is uh, Real Racing. It's one of the games that ginagamit ko for testing out if it can, you know, run the game at more than 60 frames per second. Because uh, I think ginagamit natin sa mga previous gaming phones just to check if it can run, you know, more than 60 frames per second. Okay, so the problem is, ay niyang umikot. So yeah, umikotin na lang natin yung phone. Okay, so we have here the Formula 1 F1 Academy car. Medyo mabilis lang tong uh, uh, real racing because the game is mabilis lang naman na racing game. Okay, so as you can see here, the game is only running at 60 frames per second. So it's uh, we cannot max it out at more than 60 frames per second. You can see we suck at this game, but ang mahalaga nyo lang naman kailangan tignan dito is the FPS and as you can see here, it's running at 60 frames per second. Uh, we cannot get more than 60 FPS uh, game na to. But yeah, uh, makita nyo naman na smooth pa rin siya. And again, despite not having 60 frames per second, what I like about this one is parang may, makikita nyo pa rin sa mata nyo once you've tried out the game. Mas makikita mo siya uh, in real life na parang okay, mas maganda yung response nito. Mas masarap pa rin sa mata, mas smooth pa rin siya. But of course, it would be better if the game supports 90 FPS. And as you can see here dito sa graph natin, makikita nyo dito sa graph natin sa baba. Uh, it's almost smooth na 60 frames per second, only a few frame drops. But yeah, no problems at all. Alright guys, so our next game is uh, NBA 2K20. Yes, uh, we've maxed out the uh, settings dito sa NBA 2K20. The maximum settings possible. So, time to play uh, the game. So yes, ikukontinue ko lang yung laro ko kanina dito sa Realme 6 Pro, dito sa NBA 2K20. So time to start game bench and let's see uh, what we can expect dito sa ating uh, laro to. So as you can see here, the game is running at, uh, it's actually fluctuating, okay? Nakakita na tayo for the first time na nagpa-fluctuate dito sa Realme 6 Pro na game. So the game is running at 58, 57 frames per second. It's uh, sa median FPS. But uh, the FPS is going down up to 53. So we can expect na mas bababa pa siya once na i-continue pa natin yung paglalaro natin dito. Siguro mga longer time na usage. Actually, pagkatapos ang quarter na to, since 3 minutes naman to, uh, makikita natin yung difference nung, um, nung FPS ngayon at saka FPS mamaya. But yeah, so far, it's still quite good. We can, we can still reach up to 60 frames per second. Though, bumababa siya to 53. 
So, as you can see, meron tayo dong uh, highlight. And, yeah, nakita nyo may frame drops tayo dun. Uh, nakita nyo yung graph sa baba. We went down to 47 during that time. But, as long as the game is running at more than 30 frames per second, actually, wala akong problema dito. And this is... Oh, okay. Kamala Pindot. Anyway, you can still see that the FPS, the median FPS is still 54. It's not as smooth as the other games na natry natin kanina. But so far, this one is still quite good na. 54 lang. 54 siya. Uh, despite running the game at a uh, higher na settings. Okay, so nakikita nyo, uh, the game is going down to 56 whenever there's a close-up to this player. So whenever there's a close-up, yan. So makikita natin dito. So may close-up na nangyayari dito. And uh, it went down to 56. Uh, not so much. Ito, tingnan natin may konting... Uh, substitution na nangyayari dito. Yan. So, it goes down to 51 maybe because of the additional effects yung nakita nyo kanina, lumalabas ng games and the effects on that one. Pero yeah, it's still quite good. Uh, 61, 60, I, I still didn't see anything na below 49. And actually, the median frames per second um, is actually better now at 55. I mean, yata, parang 53 mabot yata doong kanina but so far as long as it's more than 50 I don't think magkakamera tayo ng problema as you can see here everything um, is more than 50 FPS okay so the quarter is about to end and uh, we're running at at uh, 3 minutes 30 seconds but as you can see here hindi siya ganun ka smooth pagdating dito sa FPS sa NBA 2K20 ulitin ko lang it's not smooth pero the gameplay is really really good our experience is really great dito despite some frame drops ng konti uh, hindi naman siya bumababa ng 50 frames per second which is quite good na hindi bumaba ng ganun and some people might not uh, notice that one pero yeah it's more than 50 frames hindi siya nakakasi na experience ko that's the important thing sa paglalaro dito sa NBA 2K20 now let's proceed to our next game so our next game is one of the most demanding games right now in the market. You've seen it uh, in my previous videos about the gaming reviews of other smartphones. This is my benchmark talaga pagdating sa best graphics sa game na Android. So this is Black Desert Mobile as you can see here. Okay, so nag-adjust yung graphics. The graphics has been adjusted to ensure smoother game experience. Okay, we will not follow that. Okay, so we're gonna max out the graphics settings. As you can see here, max resolution, max frame limit. Yes, there's no frame limit for us on this one. But I believe naka-max pa rin siya at 45 frames per second. Nakakap siya doon. But yeah, you can see here, uh, Black Desert Mobile. Now, time to run Game Bench. So, there we go. So, as you can see here, the game is running at 28 median FPS. So, I do not expect to run the game at 45 FPS because a lot of chipsets are still having a hard time running this game. Imagine, naka 720G processor tayo dito. And, uh, yeah, it's not something na pinaka-powerful ngayon sa market. But, it's nice to see that we're getting here and really nice graphics. You could see the horse ass up there and it's really really good the graphics and you can see here that the graphics dun sa character natin wow it's it's beautiful as you can see uh yeah so the focus is and our frame rate is still at 28 uh fps that's close up so right now it's 24 so try natin pumatay ng mga kalaban sa labas let's see if there's a lot of effects going on tingnan natin kung makaka-apekto ba to ng malaki sa gameplay natin so yes we just got out of uh yung town yung colony now time to kill some enemies over here okay so so yeah there's a lot of effects going on in here yeah so nakikita niyo naman Okay, so medyo malakas yata yung kalaban. But you can see here that the game uh, is not struggling. We're having a median FPS of uh, 31. Actually, lumagpas yung FPS natin kanina. Uh, Nagkakamera ng malaking fluctuation dito sa ating FPS. Uh, it's going up to 39. That's weird. And going up to 40. And uh, let's try uh, zooming in. Okay, we cannot because we're in the battle right now. But, yeah. Oh, okay, so we're gonna die. So, uh, wow. Okay, so the FPS that we're getting in here is actually fluctuating kanina. It's around 28. Maybe because there's a lot of NPC that is going on in the game. But right now, when there are just the mobs and everything, uh, it's, it's going up to 36 frames uh, per second. 
pagdating sa media niya. Eh, actually, the real time frames is going up to 44. That is a good sign. So, try natin i-adjust yung bar natin. So, nakikita nyo yung FPS right now, the the graph doon sa baba. There's a lot of fluctuation in the middle part because that's uh, the part na lumabas tayo doon sa town and uh, na-encounter natin yung mga mobs na to. But, Again, maybe it's because of the NPC. Maybe they're taking a lot of the resources from that thing's a smartphone. But right now, you could see in here that yeah. So there's a lot of NPCs. Try natin in uh, going back here. Yeah, there's a lot of NPCs here and some fire effects. Okay, so the FPS is going down to 29 to 31. So it's it depends on the effects uh, that is running on the game. But with Black Desert Mobile, it can run really well. Dito sa uh, Realme 6 Pro all you need to do is just turn down the graphic settings if you wanted to just to get a better frame rates nakikita nyo naman the graph has flattened doon sa baba it's around 28 to 31 frames per second but once we got out dito sa mga NPC and some um, torches na marami malakas kumain ng resources yan so nakazoom in tayo sa character natin actually bumabalik siya to more than uh, 30 frames per second actually we're going up to 42 so whenever we're zooming out doon sa game Mas malaki yung na-view niya. Nakikita niyo na mas mataas yung FPS natin. But yeah, um, having a median frames per second dito na 36, this is a good sign. But when it comes to FPS stability, I believe the game uh, is not that, uh, recall that, it's not that good pagdating sa FPS stability. I mean, that's expected already since this is a mid-range chipset. So yeah, let's try, uh, patayin pa natin itong mga wolf, gray fox, and let's see if uh, may camera pa rin ng drop. Okay, so uh, I don't think magkakamero ng drop. Okay, so I think this is a good sign na okay talaga yung uh, yung game, yung ating experience dito sa Realme 6 Pro. Okay, so yes, mamatay na tayo. So let's uh, go back doon sa mga NPCs. So you can see here, it's around 45 um, FPS right now. But when we go here, nakikita nyo naman pagdating dito sa mga torches. Uh, it's going back down to 27. So yeah, it depends on the NPC. It depends on uh, everything that is going on in the game. As you can see here in the town, medyo maraming NPC. It's going back to 39 to 37. So it depends talaga dun sa uh, nangyayari sa game. Yeah. Pag zoom in lalo, yeah, no? lalo may fire effect with the face. Yeah, laki ng kain sa, mayro, sa FPS. So yeah, I guess that's it sa ating uh, game bench ng Black Desert Mobile. Now, let's check out yung ating verdict uh, when it comes to uh, Realme 6 Pro. Okay guys, so you've seen the gaming performance of the Realme 6 Pro. So we've tried different games on the smartphone. So first, Real Racing 3. Yes, we got a uh, 60 FPS dito with 99% FPS stability. The thing with uh, Real, uh, the Real Racing 3 is that it's supposed to run at more than 60 frames per second with other smartphones na may more than 60 hertz refresh rate. But in the Realme 6 Pro, unfortunately, the game didn't run uh, more at more than 60 frames per second. But it is, it is quite smooth and it's still better than expected and makikita mo pa rin yung difference sa 60 hertz sa 90 hertz kahit na 60 fps lang siya mas smooth siya mas siguro yung mata ko talaga pagdating sa mga fps mga ganun napapansin ko talaga yung difference between uh, the 90 hertz and also the 60 hertz refresh rate in Call of Duty Mobile, we didn't have any problems at all. We've run the game at 60 FPS with 100% FPS stability at uh, very high settings. Unfortunately, hindi natin pwede i-max yung pinaka graphics quality because the maximum FPS is only at uh, very high. So, dun tayo sa very high settings pero max frame rate. Of course, we've also turned on the other uh, features and other graphic settings and despite na enable natin yun maganda pa rin naman yung nakuha natin quality maganda pa rin yung nakuha natin FPS 60 FPS, 100% FPS stability, that is the best one that we can get sa Call of Duty Mobile and nakuha natin to dito sa Realme 6 Pro in NBA 2K20, we've run the game at the highest settings possible. Of course, high and ultra high lang naman to. And the game ran at 55 frames per second. We didn't reach up to 65, 60 frames per second sa median FPS. But the FPS stability is 100%. So yeah, no problems at all. I mean, it's steady at more than 50 frames per second. It is quite consistent pagdating sa FPS. So yes, no problems at all when it comes to uh playing games dito sa realme 6 pro of course we've run uh pubg mobile with pubg mobile i've, I've noticed that the game can only run at balance settings with uh with ex uh ultra frame rates we do not 
have the option to run the game at extreme frame rates. I'm still wondering why the Realme 6 can run the game at HDR settings in ultra frame rates and also smooth settings, the graphics with extreme frame rates. But with the Realme 6 Pro, we can only run it at uh, ultra frame rates at the uh, balance settings, which is quite disappointing. But I believe it's uh, the problem ng uh, developer ng PUBG Mobile that they haven't optimized yet for the Snapdragon 720G. I mean, the thermals are really good. The performance of the Snapdragon 720G is quite powerful and yet we're not able to run it at higher settings. But I believe that the smartphone can run uh, the game at a better graphics with better FPS. I've tried it with GFX tool. I'm using PUBG Mobile, although hindi ko dinemo uh, at 60 frames per second. Napatakbo ko naman yung PUBG Mobile dito at extreme frame rates with GFX tool. And lastly, we've run um, Black Desert Mobile, one of the most demanding games right now in the market, uh, especially sa Android. And we got 30, 36 FPS with 74% FPS stability. If you ask me, that is pretty good for a mid-range smartphone. The Snapdragon 720G performed better than expected. Although, hindi naman talaga natin reach yung 100% FPS stability uh, with better frame rates dito sa Black Desert Mobile. But yeah, still fine with me. But if you turn down the settings, maybe you could get a better FPS. I'm just maxing out the graphic settings para makita nyo yung maximum capabilities ni Snapdragon 720G dito sa Realme 6 Pro. So overall, I'm pretty happy with what we have seen dito sa Realme 6 Pro. Uh, the Snapdragon 720G, 720G is quite powerful. The thermals are really good. And nakita nyo naman yung mga FPS and FPS stability. Everything has uh, is pretty well. And including uh, sa Black Desert Mobile, although 70%, 74% FPS stability, still wouldn't complain about that one. But yeah. Unfortunately, no 90 uh, FPS dito, but hopefully soon when there's a software update or the software developers can fix that, maybe we could run 90 FPS dito. But still, the 60 uh, at 60 frames per second, I can still see yung uh, difference ng 60 hertz and 90 hertz. But again, maybe sa mata ko lang yun. Some people might not um, notice that one, but for me. Nakita ko yung difference sa 60 hertz sa 90 hertz kahit na tumatakbo lang yung game at 60 fps. Ganong kahalaga sa akin yung refresh rate, especially when playing games like PUBG Mobile and also Call of Duty Mobile. So yeah, I guess that's it for our gaming review of the Realme 6 Pro. It's a quite powerful smartphone. Really interested with this one. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button along with that bell button to get notified of the latest videos here at the Jam Online YouTube channel. So once again, I am Jam of JamOnline.ph. Thank you for watching and see you guys again sa susunod na video.